This is your host, Nico Balchowald, and today's guest is Thomas Young. Thomas is a heart teacher, a wisdom teacher, he's a speaker, a mystic, and Thomas is a catalyst of heart consciousness. But he's equally my mentor since more than a decade, and we share a deep friendship. Thomas, I'm delighted to have you on my show. Welcome. Nico, so so great to be on your show. I love it. I'm very much looking forward to having a wonderful, deep-hearted, spirited conversation with you. The question is, do you wake up and say, oh, it was a dream, or was it so real for you? No, it was like uh, taking place here, mm -hmm. and the impact it had on my personal life was that <laughs> I could feel it um, running through me when I was engaging in a soul-to-soul -soul conversation uh, mm -hmm. for a person and I, I, I could hear myself speak things which I didn't know once this energy is present. I think most importantly we are sharing our journeys in such a conference space, creating a sacred space. Ideally we would have a turning point experience in a heart initiation for like sacred heart probably and um it makes you humble mm. it doesn't make you grandiose it makes you simple ever more simple you you get a feeling how diverse life is how how beautiful how how much of a gift and um also, if you do dream work, how many different energies are running through yourself, like great ones, little ones, like, like uh, picky ones, like uh, bean counter ones, like, like aggressive ones, brutal ones, warrior ones, compassionate ones. And you always return to that um, radical presence of the heart, which can embrace it and say, well, I'm, my heart is big enough to love this part of me as well. If you can do that, you can love it in another person. So, one, you're worshiping your gods down there. It's just a different arena. And um, I think we have to communicate, communicate about it and to just invite more and more men into the strengths of the heart center. Because mm -hmm. in, in the uh, cultural, um, perception, if you talk about the heart, it's considered to be a little fluffy, it's considered to be romantic, but the, it's not considered as the essential source of your innate soul strength, which, which it is, and, and the most direct connection to the core of your soul and from that to the heart of God or the universe, however you may feel that. And uh, this is the way I see it. And if that is communicated, uh, more and more men will probably um, also approach their own hearts in different ways. And, and I feel them coming into the conferences more and more. I see it oftentimes it will, when couples come. So there's a carpenter with an open heart. But he's not talking about archangels and, and beings sitting on a cloud. He's just taking care of his family with, with, with big love. Mm -hmm. And he has this um, beautiful woman who's interested in angels and, and this and that. And it doesn't mean that she, that her heart is more open than his. It's just a different approach. And we have to, to value also that... Um, Someone who's um, singing, chanting in a football stadium um, for his club. This is like um, Sunday service. It's like a religious act. I love it. I love it. Because you know what? I was uh, once in Atlanta and I went to the baseball stadium, Atlanta Braves, and they were like leading the World Series. And there was something magical happening that for seven or eight games, they won their game in the last inning. <laughs> Opponents, they somehow knew, oh, now the last inning is coming. So yeah. it's in that stadium, and the, the symbol of the Atlanta uh, Braves is a tomahawk. All right. 
And at the ninth inning, all of a sudden, like 90,000 people start with their tomahawk chops and they start singing, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yes, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. And then, of course, one guy of the Atlanta Braves made a home run and they won again. But exactly as you said, the moment I was there, like, what's happening? And I had this goosebumps, this this expanded field, and I never heard someone talking about this and saying this is like Sunday service. But it, is, it is like like a, a uh, an experience of oneness um, on the uh, in the arena of the tribal chakra. Mm -hmm. so the root chakra creates oneness in forms like this: my clan, my tribe, the Atlanta Braves, mm -hmm. and we are one. And this is this is uh, we all always have this this impulse to become one. It's just different um, arenas, so to speak. And it's not good to judge one against the other. That's why I said this is like Sunday service. No difference. Different. Yeah. And now I'm um, circling around this, how does simple intention work if we find the right Frequency or frequency or space from which to set that little thing, and then we, we, we sort of step aside and let the soul do the healing work. And this meditation healing flow is uh, I, I uh, it premiered on a huge congress in Basel, the Flow Congress, and I did it with one thousand four hundred people, mm -hmm. wow. and you could hear a needle fall. They were completely immersed. In this space, they were stepping aside, and, and I, I never had that experience before with such a big audience that um, you didn't hear anything. But like everybody's coughing sometimes, or doing eating or something, nothing, and um, that was very touching. Mm. So the, the CDs uh, in German for now, right? For well, now, it's in German. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah, I can sense that, I can feel that. Uh, and it's almost like when you talk about, uh, when you did the workshop, it's just really um, an invitation to the soul to do what's best for me. Yes, there is a preference, but I just invite, beloved soul, please take care of that, uh, whatever is best for me. And that's, I mean, this, this part of surrender in that makes it even more powerful. But Absolutely. also with your meditation to, to guide people into a deeper state of awareness that they really can invite the presence of the soul into their physical form or yeah, well stated absolutely yes wow. yeah yes so thomas uh, thank you for sharing your soul journey and your work with us uh, and i can't wait to see you soon at one of your workshops so thank you for all of it and namaste Thank you very much, Nico. It's always always a pleasure talking to you, and and, and just like um, feels like a wonderful welcome because you have that open spirit with which you listen and that heart, and so it's um, has been an honor to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thomas. Bye. Bye. Podcast for your soul, your compass, your journey, your light.